Well, I won the die roll. That's a good start. I have zero castable spells before turn four, so I'm going to mulligan this. And while this one is not great, it's not a mulligan. We're going to lead off of the mountain. That way, whether I cat, whether I draw Zerta Druid or Wojek Calvarius, I can cast either of them. Ah, Zerta Druid. Good thing I let off the mountain there. Hello, Zerta Druid. You're pretty awesome. So our opponent has a precinct captain, which is really bad <laughs> for me anyway. But I do have a Rubble Belt Monka, which I'm going to cast. If only to block the precinct captain. Because, you know, turn two precinct captain is a bomb, but if I have a blocker for it, that's fine. Not too worried about Shadow Alley, Denon. Um, so choices here. I don't think it was really a choice. I'm just going to play out this Zerta Swine here. And I'm going to attack with the Maka because I can't stop the Precinct Captain from doing what he does here. If, uh, if he has another black creature, he's just going to give it Intimidate and I can't block it anyway, so... Yeah, he'll get a couple of soldier soldier tokens to block, possibly. But if he doesn't, then he has to deal with the Zertos wine repeatedly. The Zertos wine and a rubble about Maka. Oh, he's just leaving it behind. Okay, that's cool. Scion of V2 Gossi. This is a sick draw. Unfortunately, I can't cast it, but it's a sick draw. So let's bash you with our dudes. With our big dudes here. He probably has a smite. That's the only thing I can imagine if he left open this much mana. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with no. Cast Quartz Root Denizen and just pass the turn. Uh, planes would be the perfect top deck, I believe. Top four cards of my library into a graveyard. Okay. So he milled nothing of value. So he spent five mana to cast nothing of value. Yes, please. This is why you don't play Coerced Confessions, because that card is just awful. I don't know. If I was him, I would attack here. Yeah. Get yourself a 1-1 blocker and deal me two. That's fine. We're just going to always yield to him. I imagine he's going to be doing that a fair amount this game. Um, so using the Maka is not very good. Did I ping him? I don't think I pinged him. Punt.
Uh, so I can play the Wrecked here. I can just play a Maka. I, playing the Wrecked here and discarding the Maka doesn't seem very good. Um, so I think I'm just going to attack and play the Maka. He's... I think he's got a block here. Well, he definitely has to block here. If he doesn't block here, he's just dead. It's a Maka Blood Rush. So, he did block. Which is unfortunate for me, but it's also fine. I'm going to activate this Druid right now, just so I don't forget to do it. Because I'm just, I'm really bad about it. And casting the Maka. Pass the turn. So unless he has a Merciless Eviction, he doesn't come back from this. I have too much of a board presence here. At the very least, this the Zertod Druid has a, a very dominant board presence. Well, it's, it's going to ping him for five every turn, or ping him for one every turn. Planes. No. Okay, well now I will play the Wrecked here. Once again, I'm actually going to use... Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... I'm going to discard this mountain and draw a card. Because the mountain's worthless to me. <laughs> Punch the enemy's pretty good, though. Alright, so we're going to beat face here. <clears throat> uh, with both Makas and a Zertal Druid, I believe. He doesn't really have profitable blocks, profitable blocks here, but he does have to block because he's just dead if he doesn't. So at the very least, even if he like double blocks the Amako with like a precinct captain or a dead reveler, I can only kill the dead reveler, but that's fine. Okay, well he he concedes. I agree, because you spent five mana on turn five to do nothing to me. Um, so against turn two, Precinct Captain. Um, I might want the Smite now, actually. So probably just Smite over... Over what? Wild Road Rebirth, Pursuit of Flight. Yeah, he's got black in his deck, so black is like, he probably actually has some removal somewhere in there. He just didn't see any. But I don't want to just lose to a turn two, turn two precinct captain. I did draw very well that game, even if I wasn't able to cast my Scion. Beer count six, folks. I just finished my sixth beer in about three hours. So, not that impressive, but it's for you. It makes me pretty, pretty well, uh, I'm not going to mulligan this hand. This is, like, it's really slow, but I think his deck is actually just really bad, so I don't, I don't mind keeping this hand. And I got a Zeratod Druid to reward me. Thank you. Mm. 
Is he just not hitting Lance? Oh, no. He is hitting Lance. Okay. So the smite looks rather silly now, but it's okay. Uh, so I was going to play the Zertod. I totally was going to play the Zertod Druid, but now I'm going to play the Logic Halberdiers. Possibly right into removal, but Halberdiers it is. They're going to get way more damage in if he doesn't have a turn 3 play than Zertod Druid is. And it's pretty likely that he has a turn 3 play, and he does. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Am I going to Blood Rush that? Yeah, Blood Rush has to be the play. Because otherwise the thing's just going to stop me. I don't mind Blood Rushing either, because I have wild, a Wild Rebirth in the deck to, to play out. Yeah, obviously he's blocking. Obviously I'm Blood Rushing. Um... I don't like using the removal like that. Like on the deck is this deck is really light on removal, but I think I've got enough blood rush creatures and just powerful endgame stuff to make up for it. So Yeah, spending one mana to kill a one four blocker is pretty good, I think. This deck that's kinda of what this deck was trying to get to. Four mana. Ah, he picked up the volatile rig. Well, that's very interesting, good sir. But he attacks each turn of Fable. So now I have a question. Um, well, not a question really. It's more of a what do I do? I'm not attacking this turn because the rig is just going to get me if I do. Whenever it's dealt damage, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, sack the volatile rig. Whenever it dies, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, it deals four, four damage to each creature and player. So, basically, I can't do anything right now. Uh, he's going to attack next turn with it. And maybe he sacks it and I, I just lose. But I think I'm going to block smite it. And just see if see what happens there. Yep, so block... And smite. Let's see what happens with the rig. Like he probably he might like three for one me here with the rig. Which is pretty awful. Do you lose the flip? He won the flip. Okay, so... That's unfortunate. Like, very unfortunate that he won the flip there. Wait. Oh, if he loses the flip. Okay. Well, um... That's awkward. <laughs> That's really, really awkward. He unleashed his dead reveler, which is fine by me. Like, totally fine by me, actually. Um, so it's... Splatterthug and Scarred Guild Mage. But we're going to attack with the Lord Jack Halberdier first. 
bashy, 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 bash. Away. So, Mr. Scar Guild Mage gets a miss. Followed by a Mr. Splatter Thug. Yeah, we're unleashing the Splatter Thug too. So, this is two games that have had this, the uh, Scion. The, uh, the punt count is when I when I make a misplay that could possibly cost me the game. The bot tracks your punts, so over time it will it the bot the bot has seen that I have made twenty one punts. Blaze Commando. Um, So I think I'm going to play the Blaze Commando and Bashy Bashy with... No, I'm not going to play the Blaze Commando. I don't know. The bot does not know that the move is a mistake. You have to make a, uh exclamation point, exclamation point, punt. So you see up here at the top, I have this uh, right here that I wrote in, exclamation point, punt. So the bot doesn't know unless you or somebody else says that it is a punt. Alright, so it's either an annihilating fire on the skulk or I'm totally not sober. I'm sorry. Totally not sober. Um because otherwise this this match would probably already be over because this guy has a really 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 bad deck so I'm I think I'm just gonna bash with fuck I kind of want the blaze commando I'm gonna I'm gonna bash the splatter thug and play the blaze commando Yeah. I'd wait. Go. Why have I not auto yielded to this yet? Always yield to this dude. So this way when I annihilating fire him fire something next turn, I get two one one haste dudes. I win the match.